This is a discussion on broken heart syndrome or Takoshubo cardiomyopathy. Takoshubo cardiomyopathy is characterized by left ventricular epical ballooning and normal coronary arteries. It typically occurs after a high catecholamine stress, mostly in elderly females, after loss of spouse. LV shape is similar to the octopus pot a traditional Japanese octopus trap. It is also known by various names as broken heart syndrome, stress cardiomyopathy, ampulla cardiomyopathy and epical ballooning syndrome. ECG changes and clinical presentation may mimic acute myocardial infarction. Severe left ventricular dysfunction may occur. But most cases, though not all of them, eventually make a good recovery. Broussard's hypothesis on preferential left ventricular epical involvement in Takoshubo cardiomyopathy. Takoshubo cardiomyopathy is also known as epical ballooning syndrome because of preferential involvement of the left ventricular apex. Broussard's hypothesis on preferential involvement of the left ventricular apex in Takoshubo cardiomyopathy has to do with the trabeculation pattern of the left ventricle. According to Broussard, left ventricular apex is the most trabeculated and thinnest portion of the left ventricle. The resulting higher surface area to volume ratio would mean more of exposed endothelial surface lining the apex. This would make the apex more vulnerable to the effect of excessive catecholamines in the circulation which is known to damage the endothelial cells. Broussard presumes that the endothelial damage would lead on to transient contractile dysfunction in regions with high surface to volume ratio, namely the apex of the left ventricle and some regions of the right ventricle leading to epical ballooning cardiomyopathy. But this would not explain the mid ventricular variant of Takoshiba cardiomyopathy and the inverted Takoshubo cardiomyopathy. Inverted Takoshubo cardiomyopathy is a variant of Takoshubo cardiomyopathy in which there is hyperkinesis of apex with mid ventricular ballooning unlike the reverse pattern seen in classical Takoshubo cardiomyopathy. Instead of the precordial ST segment elevation, inferior ST segment elevation has been reported in these cases. The presentation and clinical features of inverted Takoshubo cardiomyopathy are similar to those of typical Takoshubo cardiomyopathy. The difference in pattern of involvement has been attributed to the variation in sympathetic and parasympathetic innervation of the heart. A pattern similar to this has also been reported in subarachnoid hemorrhage. A guideline published from Japan in 2007 mentioned that inverted Takoshubo cardiomyopathy should not be included in the diagnosis of Takoshubo cardiomyopathy. Ramraj and colleagues collected the data of 60 cases from literature and found that classic type constituted 67%, inverted type 23% and mid cavitary type 10%. They noted that patients presenting with inverted Takoshubo cardiomyopathy were significantly younger with mean age of 36 years compared to 62 years for the other types. Here are the first set of references on Takoshubo cardiomyopathy. These are the second set of references. Discussion on Intertac Diagnostic Score and Prognostic Score for Takoshubo cardiomyopathy. Intertac Diagnostic Score was developed from the results of International Takoshubo Registry by the Intertac International Registry Group. The score was developed for differentiating Takoshubo cardiomyopathy from acute coronary syndrome in the acute stage. Intertac Diagnostic Score estimates the probability for Takoshubo cardiomyopathy and was found to have high sensitivity and specificity for differentiating it from acute coronary syndrome. Points allocated are as follows. Female gender 25 points. Emotional trigger 24 points. Physical trigger 13 points. Absence of ST segment depression 12 points. 
psychiatric disorders 11 points neurologic disorders 9 points qtc prolongation 6 points if 50 or more points were present the specificity of takoshiba cardiomyopathy was 95% if score was 31 or less the specificity of acute coronary syndrome was also 95% Intertag diagnostic score was evaluated in a study of 40 consecutive patients with acute coronary syndrome and 20 patients with Takoshiba cardiomyopathy in a single center in Poland. They found highest sum of sensitivity and specificity while using a cutoff value of 45 points. With a score 50 or more, 85% were correctly diagnosed as Takoshiba cardiomyopathy. When the score was 31 or less, 92% were correctly diagnosed as acute coronary syndrome. Intertac prognostic score aims at predicting short-term and long-term mortality in Takoshiba syndrome. Data from the Intertac registry, which comprised of Takoshiba syndrome patients from 26 centers worldwide, was used for derivation of the score. Regression coefficients of risk factors were obtained by Cox regression analysis. 1160 patients were included in the study. Intertag prognostic score gave points as follows. TTS secondary to neurologic disorders 15 points. TTS secondary to physical activities, medical conditions or procedures 9 points. Age above 70 years 8 points. Systolic blood pressure less than 119 millimeters of mercury on admission, 7 points. Diabetes mellitus, 6 points. Left ventricular ejection fraction, 45% or less on admission, 6 points. Male sex, 6 points. Heart rate above 94 per minute on admission, 4 points. TTS without an identifiable triggering factor, 3 points. The points were added together and those with 15 or less points were considered as low risk. Intermediate risk was assigned to those with 16 to 22 points, high risk to those with 23 or 28 points and very high risk for those with 29 points or more. 5 year survival in the low risk group was 93.5% and that in the very high risk group was 45.1% survival in other groups were in between here are the first set of references one more reference is here generally everyone thinks of takoshiba cardiomyopathy which is also known as stress cardiomyopathy or broken heart syndrome as a cause of reversible left ventricular dysfunction in response to a major lifetime stress. Initial reports which caught attention were in elderly women who had lost their spouses and hence the term broken heart syndrome. As it involved the apical segments of the left ventricle not conforming to any single vascular territory, another eponym was apical ballooning syndrome. Recent work has questioned the complete reversal of cardiac pathology in this condition, though left ventricular ejection fraction rapidly returns to normal. They have noted long-term mortality comparable to that of myocardial infarction. Kelly and colleagues studied the long-term functional and metabolic changes after stress cardiomyopathy. 37 of their patients who had stress cardiomyopathy one year or more earlier completed the Minnesota Living with Heart Failure questionnaire. They also underwent detailed clinical evaluation, biomarker estimation, echocardiography, cardiac magnetic resonance imaging and phosphorus 31 magnetic resonance spectroscopy. They demonstrated long-lasting symptomatic and functional impairment in cardiac status after Takoshiba cardiomyopathy even though left ventricular ejection fraction improved. This would suggest persistent long-term subclinical cardiac dysfunction. Pelicia and associates studied the predictors of long-term prognosis in a meta-analysis. They included 54 studies with a total of 4,679 patients 
of which 477 were females and 602 were males. They found that older age, presence of a physical stressor and atypical ballooning were the predictors of unfavorable long-term outcome. There were 104 recurrences indicating an annual recurrence rate of 1%. Annual mortality rate was 3.5%. Of the 4,567 patients who survived the index admission, 103 died of cardiac causes and 351 died of non-cardiac causes over a mean follow-up period of 28 months. There were 112 deaths, that is 2.4% during admission. Prognosis was poorer in secondary Takoshiba cardiomyopathy with a physical stressor compared to primary Takoshiba cardiomyopathy with an emotional stressor. Here are the important references for the topic. Some more references are here.